So I'm going to show you how to install or fit a rubber non-return valve. I'll just remove it from the, the packaging here. Just disregard the white tie-in hemp here. That's just an emergency solution. We're going to use hemp. That's the, uh, the valve. Now, you can use black or yellow hemp. Uh, for this purpose, I'm actually going to use yellow because you'll see it better as it's being tied in. Now, on your blowpipe, have a look. You may find a gouge here, which is ideal for fitting the valve. It just sits in there nicely. But some blowpipes don't have that, so don't worry, you'll just have to hold it down when you're hemping the valve down. Okay, so the best thing to do really is to double up on the hemp. Just saves time. And let's just fit this into the gouch. Now make sure when you're doing this that the valve is straight because if it's not, it won't be airtight. You know, if it's too far up, there's, there'll be a hole at the back. If it's too far down, it will lift at the front. You see that? So make sure it's straight all the way around. And then grab a piece of hemp. Now it's important to pull really tight here, very, very tight. The first few rounds of hemp here, extremely tight. And then just keep going. And just fill in the spaces here, you see, you know, the spaces. And look that it's, that it's relatively easy. And keep pulling it quite tight. It's important that it's tight so that it stays on. When you think you have enough on, take your stock. So you just push in and you can see it'll actually even out the hemp here. Just a few times and then add a little bit more hemp. Look for the, the sort of the spaces here and pull it through a few more times and then pull off the hemp and try again. Yeah, there's just still a couple of uneven main spaces here. Now you don't want it too tight, obviously, with the blowpipe. Just switch my hand here because the wood stock and the blowpipe will take up moisture and will expand when it's wet. So you don't want it too tight. Now check for air tightness. That's it. 